Yeah, it's an absolutely glorious day. I couldn't think of anything better to do. It's a bit cloudy, but hopefully it's not going to rain. So I'll see you at the first target. All right. Okay, I found this first target as I was walking to the rock pool with my metal detector on, and it's reading 428. But normally what happens is I can't dig them because they're so deep, but in the sands, because it's, uh, it's just impossible to dig. But I'll give it a go, and I'll uh, show you in a sec. Well, it just turns out to be an old Coke can. All right, next target. Okay, I've got a very weak signal here. Uh, 726. Okay, I'll give that a dig. See in a sec. Okay, it's out. Let's have a look. I'll just get my pinpointer out. I'm using a different camera to what I normally use. Oh. There you go. Pushing weight. I'll say it's quite recent, really. Still got the mono monofilament on. Okay, next target. Right, here's another target. It's a uh, 2.26. Oh, maybe that's a coin or something. Something exciting. Right, see you in a sec. Right, it's down about 14 to 16 inches. I've uh, got it out. And, uh, it's in that lot somewhere. Let's see. So about, let's have a look, see what it is. Oh, it's something good. I'll throw that to you. Oh, there you go. That's sort of a bit of lead flashing or something. All right, next target. All right, my next target. That's reading 7.23. Let's just take another take on it. Oh. 13.06. All right, OK. Well, let's dig it out and find out what it is. Okay, I'll we'll just see it as it's broken the surface. And here it is. Oh, let's give it a good wash. So the remains of an old shell casing. Being fired. No dates or anything on the back of it. Okay, next target. Alright, I've got a target here. It's 1916 and 1321. Um, I'll do my best to get it out. See you in a sec. Okay, it's out. So let's have a look. Right. That's it. Okay, what it is yet? A bit of copper or something. Well, it's copper or brass. Brass. Okay, next target. There you go. So let's say, yep, yeah, big lump of iron. You know, like the stuff I'm into talking about. It's either remains of old bits of pier or uh, some of the coastal defences. They used to mount them in concrete and have them sticking up like that to rip the bottoms out of boats. Okay. Well, got longer than that though, but. That's the idea. Okay, we've got a target here. 426. So we'll give that a dig and see what that is. Right, okay, it's out. Let's find it. And there. Oh, there you go. Another one. Fishing weight. Okay, next target. Okay, here's the target. It's uh, 126. Well, it seems to be like 26 seems to be fishing weight. So let's have a look. Show you a sec. All right, okay. It's, uh, it's out about 9 or 10 inches. Uh, oh. Let's let me go find it again. Oh, 
this has a different target. Right, so yeah, I just rooted around my pinpointer. I can see the roundness of a coin. I don't know if it's going to be anything good or not. So, uh, oh, you see, it's a King Charles the something. Very, very worn. I'm not too up on my old coins yet. I imagine 20s or 30s, 1934 I think it says. Or 24. Alright, there you go. Next target. I'm, I'd much rather find one of these than a pound coin really. Okay, next target. Okay, I've got something in the low tones here. 10.09. Now if I remember rightly a musket ball was in that range. I could be wrong. But anyway, let's give it a go. Anyway, whatever it is, it's out and it's about there. So let's have a look. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's a nice one like that. Is it a musket ball or something? Is it a one? Oh, it's a coin. Or oh, round. Yeah, what's that like? So that's what that is. Ah! Blimey. It's a 2004 10p. Huh. Alright, well, that's. That's okay. Right, just got another signal. 720. But it seems to go on for quite a bit. I don't know whether to dig that or not. I'm going to dig it. See in a sec. See it already. And it's a big lump of iron. Well, that's good for the scrap pot. Couldn't imagine what it was originally though. Okay, next target. Right, there you go. Target in its low tones. 703. Um, we'll clear some of the top stuff off and see if it clears up a bit. See in a sec. Okay. It's in that lot somewhere. I'm oh, sorry, my space going a bit in. See in a sec. Oh, what is that about that space? It seems to... It's got to be a bit small. Fairly few in the signal, so I might, might just have a hand in it. Oh, I'll run my drone. Show in a sec, if I'll find it. Yes, yeah, because I was looking, at, looking for it in the wrong place. Oh, ah. I'll get rid of that strap on the camera. painful this. Is that it? Yeah. Lump of rubbish. All right, next time. It's, um, it's going to be a very short tide today, so it's not going to go out much further than that. And to be honest, you need to go out a little bit further than where it is now to get all the goodies. But hopefully there's some left behind in there, some old pistol shots or something like that. Um, I'll keep digging. Yeah, that's uh, some of the remains of uh, one of the coastal defences we had down there. Big block of concrete with big lumps of iron. And uh, that's it, really. It's just all sticking up. It's all cut away with can openers on the bottom to rip out uh, the bottoms of boats if they invade. But that's laying all over here, underneath though, and unfortunately that upsets everyone's metal detectors. Um, all the uh, mine lab explorers and e tracks and that seem to see through all that, and the uh, mine lab sovereign, so that's quite cool. Okay, okay, got a target here, 1027. 
sounds a bit big, but I'm going to dig it, I'm going to dig it. Okay, that's it. Uh, that turns out to be non-ferrous metal stuck inside reinforced concrete in that big lump there. So I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay, I've got a very weak signal here. It's saying 12, 18, 11, 15. It's either very, very deep or very, very small. Right, it's in a sec. Right, it's out. Right, I hope it's a gold ring or something, but it's not going to be. It's a... Uh, I think that's a magnet, actually. Let me just test it out. Yeah, uh, a bit of lead or brass or something. Okay, next target. Oh, a very weak signal here. And it's a uh, 1608. Right, I'll dig it up. Change that. Right, it turns out to be like a jeans pocket or something like that. A button it's writing on it. And it says... Dense sprung button... Something or other. I'll clean it up and I'll show you the roundup. I don't know if this will focus in on that. See, just see it on the screen there. Okay. There's something there. It's either very small, very deep. That's really 906. I'll uh, clear a few layers away so you can see if it clears up any. Right, I'm opposite the uh, Lido now, so uh, just so you know where I am. Okay, right, I forgot where that was now. Right, it right, turns out to be like a, some sort of exotic nail with a round head. A drawing pin, maybe. An old fashioned drawing pin, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know if it focuses on there. There you go, that's what it is anyway. Right, next target, hope it's gold next time. Right, got a very, very nice high tone there, and it's reading 626. Now, I bet that's a fishing weight. 26 seems to be fishing weights. I don't know. Let's give it a go anyway. See you in a sec. Right, an unusual thing happened. It came out on the first shovel fall, which is, uh, which is very unusual for me. Find that first ghost. Very unusual for me. Give me, give me a sec. I'll come back to you. Just got it out, and it's a coin. It's black. And I can't make out what that is. It's not a penny. That's what I first saw it was. It's a King George. Sorry, I'm not in focus. It's a King George or something. Penny. Well, chat for that. I just caught it a little bit, but uh, I think that's King George. I'll clean that when I get home. But anyway, well, chat for that. Could even be Victoria. Can't tell. But that's what makes it worth it for me. It's Queen Victoria. I'm sure it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well done. Oh, I love that stuff. I'm sure it is. Now underneath it, where I scratched it, I don't know if you can see where I caught it. It's got like a silver on it. Whether that's off my spade or not, I don't know. Victorian coin. I can see her name. Yes. Woohoo. Right. Just got a nice high tone here. It's 12.01. Just had my Snickers bar and it's 9 o'clock in the morning. And I feel much better now. So I'm going to be a bit more enthusiastic than I have been on the, on the last few shots. Right, okay, I'll dig that up and show you in a sec. I had to give up on the last target. I just found another target here, it's in the low tone, and it's 1301. So let's uh, let's see what that is then. Okay, see in a sec. That was a lump of foil. Right, move on to the next target. Bit of a dodgy old signal here. 
between 10.06 and 10.09. Uh, probably deep or very small. So anyway, I'll clear away a bit of the stuff on the top and see what happens. Right. Couple shovels down it was. It's in there, whatever it is. Let's go and have a look. The sun's come out again. Just cheered me up. I thought it was going to rain on me again. Where's all these things? It's a pill in here, isn't it? Right. I'll come back to you in a sec. Sorry about that. I've pinpointed it. I've just left it hanging on the side there, okay? So I haven't picked it up yet. So here it is. And it's. Uh, yeah. It's the uh, like poppers off the jeans or a pair of jeans or something like that. That's what it looks like to me. Sort of jean popper or something. Alright, next target. Right, my. Uh, camera battery is about to run out so uh, I'll, I'll film as much as I can and then uh, after that it'll have to be a photo shoot okay right hopefully it lasts okay see you in a bit right just dug this target out it's 909 according to this so sorry I'm oh that's all to wash it off with a button and uh, it's got some writing on it it's either suspended or whatever let's try and zoom in on that so yeah have a look when I get home that's nice right next target there you go just a uh, bra found a brass boat nail Hey, from the old clinker boats. Right, just got a signal here, it's in the high tones. I'll dig it out and I'll show you in a sec. Okay, right, this time it took some digging, believe me. Just got to find out what it is. Got a camera strap to keep it anyway. I think I'll go back to using my old camera on the beach. Seems to last a heck of a lot longer. Bit of lead in a triangle shape. Hey, right, next target. Just in the... Uh, Fishing weight zone of the pier. There you go. Fishing weight. Oops, camera strap, sorry. Um, as you can see, I'm losing with the tide at the minute. Put it on in a sec. This is in the mid tones, by the way. Okay. Right, just dug this target out of here, and it's in here somewhere, so let me just find that. I can see it, no, I can't. Go back in the turned out to be this. Whatever that is. Yeah, well, okay. Well, next target. Just got a high tone there. And I've got the sea there, so I'm going to dig like crazy. See you in a sec. Right, there it is after about 18 inches. And there it is. And yeah. A bullet. And then uh, it's got R in like a, in an upside down VL. And then V11 or VII. And it's got a date on it 1939. So there you go. Cool. Next target. Right, okay, I'll see you in a minute at the roundup. Um, it's not going to be spectacular, but um, if that's a Victorian sixpence I've found, I'll be happy with that. That's good enough for me. And um, the King George the fourth or fifth coin, whatever that was. And the bullet, that's, that does it for me, but um, show you in a sec. The old go kind looks pretty cool. Might have to come up here with my son a bit later on. Of course, I'll have to show him how it's done first. All right, I'll see you when I get home. Right, okay, here's my roundup. 
here's my bits of lead the old bit there some fishing weights unfortunately that's what happens when you metal detect next to a pier you get people fishing I right, put it and I looked it up that's an old 762 sorry 303 even that's the 303 um, button from a pair of jeans whatever that is can't work out like this bit of brass bit of silver foil and a very old bullet now this is a king I've never actually looked this up King George the fourth I think or fifth who knows but what year is it I think that says 1924 I could be totally wrong there um, 10p, recognise what those, at least I do. I've got to catch up on old money. And I've cleaned up this one that I found, which has made it all worth it for me. Um, and this is a sixpence, and it's a Queen Victoria, and it is from 1891. Alright, lovely. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for all my subscribers. Um, unfortunately, there was a very short tide, so I didn't get much time out on the sands. So um, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.